Hi, my name is Eugenia and I'm a math tutor. Today we're going to talk about some rules we need to remember when we are multiplying square roots. First, let's look at our two basic properties for distributing. The first one says that the square root of a times the square root of b is equal to the square root of a times b. For example, this means that the square root of 5 times the square root of 3 is equal to the square root of 5 times 3 or the square root of 15. The second property is similar and it states that the square root of a divided by the square root of b is equal to the square root of a divided by b. For example, this means that the square root of 12 divided by the square root of 4 is equal to the square root of 12 divided by 4 or the square root of 3. There's one more rule that's good to remember and it comes from the first one. It says that the square root of a times the square root of a is equal to the square root of a squared, and that's just a. So now let's do an example and see how we can use these properties. Let's simplify the expression the square root of 10xy times the square root of 5x cubed y, all divided by the square root of 2x squared. Using our first property that we learned here, we can combine these two top terms and get the square root of 10xy times 5x cubed y divided by the square root of 2x squared. So now we can multiply what's inside and we'll get the square root of 10 times 5 is 50, x times x cubed is x to the fourth, and y times y is y squared divided by the square root of 2x squared. Now we can use our second rule that we learned, that the square root of a divided by the square root of b is equal to the square root of a divided by b. So here we can use that to rewrite our problem as the square root of 50x to the fourth y squared divided by 2x squared. Again, we can go ahead and divide what's inside the square root and we'll get the square root of 25 x squared y squared. Now we can go ahead and solve what's in the square root and to make this easier we can go back to our first rule and use it the other way now to expand this. We can expand it by writing it as the square root of 25 times the square root of x squared times the square root of y squared. We know that the square root of 25 is 5 and then we can use the last rule, that the square root of a squared is equal to a, to go ahead and simplify this as x and y. And that gives us our answer, 5xy. And that's how we use our square root rules for multiplication. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.